Let's learn how to make Print Material Workshop a success. To start, you'll put down a few sheets of printing paper. Next, you'll put down your 5x7 pieces and put the rest of the side so they don't get dirty. Temper will be your best friend. You'll only be using this kind of paint for the workshop. For the individual set, white will be in the 3 ounce cups. Every other color will be in 1 ounce cups. You'll fill them about halfway. You'll have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, brown, black, and white. Next, get your rag. You'll have a big brush, a medium brush, a small brush, and a skewer. We'll also have a water container. Make sure to fill that up halfway as well. In the middle, we'll have a stack of napkins for neighbors to share as well as a teeny brush. This is the end result for the individual set. Also, we've cut out violet, so make sure there's only eight colors. Don't forget to put a disposable apron on the back of every chair. When you're setting up the workshop, make sure it looks like this one. On to the instructor setup. This is the instructor setup fully made. This angle shows a good example of how the instructor setup will look. So the first thing we're going to talk about are the paints. The instructor has two white paints and the rest of the colors are all in two ounce cups. The instructor also has a set of brushes. A large brush, a medium brush, a small brush, a tiny brush, and a skewer. All of the brushes are a bigger size because we're working on a bigger format. The teacher also has two towels. The instructor will also need extra paper. And they'll also need a space for their binder for brief references. Underneath the table are three side tables. These are the red ones. So paintings can dry. Like all tables, it'll be covered in black and white newspaper. But why, you may be asking. Let me explain. The benefits of the black and white newspaper is paint absorption and there is no distraction from color. The newspapers should be about two to three sheets thick. We can have colored paper underneath the black and white newspaper. Under that will be a white plastic sheet so that students can't see underneath the table. The instructor will have a clipboard on the easel so that instructors can work upright. The frames also need to be handy for quick access. Well, what's the frame for, you may ask? Let me show you. Da na 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 da na 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 da na 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 And there you have it. That's why we have the frame, to show off the paintings. The instructor will always be centered in the back of the room. The table setup will have a U-shaped format. Evenly dispersed around the room will be side tables for paintings to dry. Make sure to leave enough room for walking, and whatnot. This setup can easily fit about 15 people, but that number can be changed depending on how many people attend the workshop. Next up is our gift bag. We have a pink bag filled with our album and our certificates. For the albums, we have pre-made covers. We'll have to write the name and we'll have the correct date. The only insert that we have is on the back and that's about our master classes. The inside will be for their paintings. Just like the album covers, they'll be pre-made. 
but we'll have to individualize them with the names. However, that's easy, and you won't have to do it. This is the back wall of the studio. We'll need about 12 to 16 pieces of works. Notice the color harmony in this. We'll be recreating that. This is the front end of the studio. Behind the instructor will be a large format painting, and on each side of the paintings will be two mirrors. This is to extend the room. Aw, look how adorable Oli is. And of course, thank you for being a part of the production team.